de sécurité va aborder. Une fois de plus, la population de Bangui s'est réveillée ce matin sous des tirs d'armes lourdes, entraînant des pertes en vies humaines, des blessés et déplacés. Malgré tout, je suis heureux aujourd'hui de porter devant vous le message d'un pays de 623 000 km, la République centrafricaine, où 4,5 millions d'enfants, de femmes et d'hommes espèrent maintenant que la page d'humiliation, de graves violations des droits humains, de pillages et d'extrusions va bientôt être définitivement tournée. The entire population is subject to a humanitarian crisis. Thugs are killing, looting, and raping on a daily basis. The Central African state has collapsed and is not able anymore to ensure the protection of its own population. The conflict is now increasingly taking an intersectarian turn with violence erupting between Christians and Muslims. In this context, History has taught us that the worst may happen. History has taught us that the Security Council needs to act. It's going to make a difference, I, I think, now, in a very short, at, in, in a very really immediate future. Uh, it means that first the African forces and the French forces are going to reestablish in the coming days law and order in Bangui, and afterwards, Uh, the plan, the general plan, is the securization of the roads to the main cities, where we know that thousands, dozens of thousands of civilians have taken refuge. So to protect them, but also to bring them humanitarian, uh, humanitarian support. What matters right now to the civilians whose lives are hanging in the balance is actually not the color of the helmet of those tasked to protect them, What matters is whether the troops there move out aggressively to protect civilians and to restore security. We need to employ the option today that will halt the carnage in the car the most quickly. We believe that involves giving our full support to our African and French colleagues who are stepping up to do so.